So, uh, so it sounds like, uh, Leon, you have a bit of a technical background. I think you I, told me... I've been in technology yeah. my whole life. You, I've, I've always been programming, setting okay. up computers. I, I've, I had my own computer in the 80s. Um, okay. Before they so, were widespread. So yeah. pretty, pretty good technical background. And then Ty, uh, no real industry technical experience, but you've just been really exposing yourself, right, to all the information and blockchain information, right? Um, yes, uh, and also um, I've been an active trader for 10 years already. Okay. So finance guy, so, tech guy. So, yeah. yeah, okay, cool. So, um, so one question we usually like to ask uh, all, all the people that come on our show is, what is a blockchain? Because the definition has really been evolving over the last couple of years, and uh, different perspectives, maybe it's the same because you all hang out so much, but yeah. if, if you would, uh, briefly, what, what is your definition of a blockchain? Okay, so uh, I recognized almost immediately that this was a database. In fact, the, uh, my first 10, 15 years as a software developer it was database development. I did SQL databases. I wrote SQL all day long. Uh, I, I did uh, client server applications in the, eight, in the 90s. Um, so I, I understood immediately that this was a decentralized database. I saw that almost right away. You know, for, uh, first of all, it was a decentralized money it was going to be used as that, but I also knew that this is the fir this really is a new. I, I recognize the technology, and I and because of that, I also was a early investor in these altcoins too, because I also realized that it could be used for a lot more than just money, for a lot more than just what Bitcoin was using it for. That we could use the same technique. So I almost immediately I was buying. You know, a bunch of altcoins. Uh, uh, all, all, you know, just several months after I, I bought Bitcoin. Um, so that that's what I I recognize it as uh, fundamentally a distributed database. Not immediately, but within a week or so, that I knew that this technology was was going to have so, far reaching So is that your definition? A distributed database. It, or it, or from a technical from a technical perspective, like at its most fundamental level, it is a way to for a group of nodes or computers to agree on the state of a of, of the state of a system, this database, uh, on without a central authority. That that has to me is what uh, a what a blockchain is. And do you think anything that can achieve that, any way it can be achieved, is it still a blockchain? Well, it has to have all the properties of, of the blockchain. Yeah, well, that's right? basically I mean, what, yes. what are the other properties? Sure, what, uh, well, what, the, what are the, some of those the, defining the whole properties? whole properties such as the, the immutability, oh, okay. uh, the, the, um, the, the lack of uh, the way sure, that a bunch of uh, people who don't trust each other that's are so able cool. to uh, arrive to agree on the state of a system. Mm -hmm. Because, I, I mean, the idea of uh, a, a sets of data or blocks linked together by hashes, I mean, GitHub does that. Yeah. You know? I mean, that's yeah. exactly what GitHub does. But is GitHub a blockchain? GitHub is not a blockchain because what make, doesn't make it a blockchain is that it doesn't have the proof of work. Uh, so, so, so you could work a necessary component of a blockchain. Well, it's proof of well. See, that's arguable now. Yeah, before, because, before you go too far, it, it, I want to hear Ty's. Yeah, yeah it, it, that's arguable because now people are coming other ways of arriving at consensus too, with sure. like proof of stake and sure. And all that. That's why we asked the question. Uh -huh. yeah. it's, it's, some people consider those blockchains, some people don't. Okay. So what about uh, yeah, that? let's, let's your, hear yeah. what, what's your definition, definition of, a blockchain? of a blockchain? What do you my, think? My my definition of a blockchain is that it's a public accounting ledger that is available to everyone to have a copy of it, and that. Uh, nothing gets recorded into that public accounting ledger until the majority of the network or the majority of the users agree <laughs> upon it. So you said a public ledger, would consortium blockchains fall into that category? Like, uh, well, like Hyperledger or? Uh, I've heard of Hyperledger, I looked at it briefly, but I'm not very familiar with it. Um, is it a private? Uh, it's, it's, it's like a, it's a permissioned one. Uh, I, so Hyperledger is a consortium of projects now, so yeah. don't think okay, so it's, sorry. It's sorry. Like, like, like for example, if you ask me if uh, R3 Sevs... Well, they uh, don't even call... Sure, yeah, yeah. if, if, if you call, if you ask me about R3 Sevs uh, ledger, if you call that a public ledger, I would say no, because uh, not everyone that 
agreed to it before it was written in there. So, Only the company and the people that developed it agreed to it. So can there be a private blockchain? Yes, absolutely. Okay, what's one example? Uh, the one that IBM is building right now. Which is? I don't know what the name of it is. Fabric? Are you talking about Fabric or the Hyperledger Fabric project? Uh, I'm not sure, but I know that I, I read, uh, you know, I read it briefly where uh, IBM is working on a private ledger, so is Ripple. So I think, so I think the one you're talking about is Fabric, um, and essentially what they're using on like their blockchain piece mm -hmm. is Apache Kafka, which is a message broker. Okay. So what characteristics um, define a blockchain for you, really? The, the, the main characteristic that defines a blockchain is how the whole network, all the users come to a consensus. And a consensus just simply means an agreement to what gets recorded into that public ledger. So the ability, the, the agreement process, or the technology that's used so that everyone can agree on what is recorded into the ledger, if it gets added to the ledger. And I think it's the that's, point is that between parties who don't trust each other. Yeah. yeah trustlessness. It's yeah. trustlessness. Yeah. That, that's the key. So yeah, okay. you could have a private uh, blockchain, I guess, among, uh, let's say, between the four of us, uh, and I don't trust you. Uh, but you trust the whole of the group. But I trust the whole of the group. Or yes, the majority, or the majority of the group. That he's he's siding with me. You're screwed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what Leon brings yes. up is a is a is a is a very important point. Is that the technology that's being used inside that public ledger that allows everyone to come to a majority agreement to what gets recorded in there needs to be based on math or cryptography or something that is outside of a human being. Because as long as you involve trusting a human being, then it requires you to trust that human being. And the thing that's unique about Bitcoin is that the, the technology that's used called proof of work that allows the majority of the users to come to an agreement to what gets recorded into the, public, the Bitcoin public ledger is based on math. So is immutability one of the properties of a blockchain? I, um, I, I, it doesn't necessarily have to be. I'm just curious if... No, it, it, absolutely, because okay. if you can go in there and modify okay. what's already recorded in there, then what's the point? Yeah, you could just use a database. And if, yeah. and if let's say, you, don't, you do have... You trust everybody, which is a lot of these private... Uh, the reason uh, a lot of <coughs> people are saying private blockchains aren't necessary is because they're among people who... If we all trust each other, there's no, re there's no yeah. need to... There's no need for proof. For proof of work. Yeah. We could just say, all right, I'll give you right access... All of us write access to our SQL database. We can so, do the same thing. Yeah, that's how most companies do it, right? Yeah, that's how most companies do it. Like, okay, <laughs> you're authorized, and I'll give you permission to this, to this database. Everyone has the root account. Yeah, everyone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so, what are your feelings? Let's take uh, our. Oh, hold on. He's he's changing off his. Uh, but we can keep going. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, what are your